Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to Deb Chanel's 48th World, where we do our segment called Get to the Point. That's right, Deb Chanel, get to the point. Stop talking, stop singing, stop whatever, okay? We got to get straight to the point. This is why we came, okay? The blog site I'm going to get this information from is Entertainment Tonight. Yes, Entertainment Tonight Online is dishing dirt on the Real Housewives of Atlanta season 12 coming back in full effect. And I must say, the snapshots that I saw, they are gorgeous. They are definitely speaking regalness, money, class, everything. And it promised to be explosive. Okay? So we're going to get right on into E.T.'s article, and it was written by Bryce Sander. It was on Pacific Standard Time Zone. He wrote it on uh, 11, 10, oh, let me call it, 11, uh, 10 a.m. on today, okay? Got a little cold coming on, so y'all might catch me, you know, being a little bit off key, but y'all know I'm dedicated to my channel. I'm dedicated to bringing y'all news. Okay, he has a title as The Real Housewives of Atlanta Season 12 trailer is here and watch it. That's pretty much what he's saying. I think you can definitely get it on Bravo uh, website. They're showing little clips of the trailer or whatnot. But, you know, I'm I'm, I'm taking baby steps now because I'm got i working with an old computer. But as much as y'all watch me, it builds up my channel and it builds revenue for me. So y'all keep watching my channel. Whether you like me, love me, hate me, disagree with me, it's all good. Okay, just click on the uh, channel. Hit that subscription button, and before you know it, you'll be looking at me with a camera, uh, a microphone, and new work that's out there that you can make your channel just explode for the greatness, of course. All right, so look for that. Keep subscribing to me. All right, but we're going to get into this article. It says, Bravo's Georgia Peaches are bringing what promised to be their juiciest season ever. And I'm ready. I'm sitting with my napping, my uh, plate, my fork, my spoon, my drink of choice. I'm ready to partake, okay, in the food, foolishness and fuckery. All right, we go in. It says, yes, the Real Housewives of Atlanta is back. Um well, like six weeks away from being back, but the just released season trailer will hold you over until then. And I saw it, guys, and it's like it's not holding me. I want more. I want more. I went searching uh, far and wide for these little pictures that y'all do have, but I know a lot of them haven't been released yet. So, like I said, if y'all want to go see some of the little snapshots they have on a little video play clip, go to Bravo. They're the best place to start, and you can see some of the episodes um, they're going to be showing. You know, what they're showing on there is not going to all happen in one episode when they first come back. They just splice it up into different segments of uh, different episodes and put it all together in one. But I'm telling you, all them women are coming, and they ain't playing, except for Candy and Tanya Sam's. Uh, I don't really see them getting involved, but like I said, they just spliced it up a little bit. So we'll see as we keep looking at each episode to come. All right, we're going back to the article. It says, um, this season brings the return of Kenya Moore, who joins full-time peach holders Nene Leakes, Cynthia Bailey, Candy Burris, Portia Williams, and Eva Marcel. The official friends of this year are Tanya Sams and Marlo Hampton. Wait a minute, I thought Tanya got a... Did they demote Tanya? And I didn't fail to realize that. Because they said the official friends of this year are Tanya Sams and Marla Hampton. I thought Tanya held a peach. Did they uh, demote her? And they didn't uh, share it with us like they did Shamari? <laughs> I'm like, well, bring Shamari back. Get rid of Tanya Sams. Because she's... I mean, we already got Cynthia Bailey. And she's far and wide in between with her set of stories. She just got a recent storyline that I'm sure she's going to play until it gets played out. So I'm not really sure about that. Fact checkers, get in there for me and research it, okay? But anyway, moving on from there... Everyone seems like they're exactly where they want to be, but you can expect, always expect, some bullshit to be coming. Cynthia ominously proclaims of what's to come. The trailer kicks off in a dramatic fashion with what appears to be a brawl between out 
women, a breaking out between the women. Now, what I saw from the clip, it seems like Kenya was trying to get her hands on Nene, and Nene was stretching just as quickly and wide to get her hands on Kenya, and people were trying to break them up. I think Marla was in there because she always uh trying to hold Nene down and won't don't want her to catch an assault case if you get me drill. Okay, so I saw that little part. That looked interesting. All right, but moving on back to the article it says judging my moments teased later in the teaser, the physical altercation comes after the women gather to seemingly work through the beef between Nene and Cynthia. The one-time besties, remember the friend contract? You definitely sure remember that one, okay? Had a major fallout over. Oh, well, still unclear why. Nene claims that Cynthia has a side of her that the women don't know, which might have something to do with the mid-trailer reveal that someone secretly recorded Cynthia. Now, I did see a clip on that one now. And Cynthia was dogging out Nene. Woo! I'm like, I don't know. Y'all need to go. Oh, Y'all need to burn the, uh, any other friend contract uh, situations y'all got uh, hidden out. Because, mm -mm, honey, unless Cynthia come on and show us her true color, uh, it's going to be explosive. And it's going to be having everybody on staff, meaning the Real Housewives of Atlanta staff, looking at Cynthia like, really, girl? <laughs> really? I didn't know you had that in you. If I was on that case, I'd be like, girl, I didn't know you had that in you. Go on and bring it out. Keep it out so your income can still go up, not down or staying stagnant. All right. I'm there for you, Cynthia, girl. Show me your true colors. Your true colors. A shining through. Come on, girl. Bring it out. Bring it out. We're going back to the article. It says, um, Nene, uh, I'm sorry, Kenya proclaims to the group that they'll all stay in the room until they know who the snake is. Who recorded Cynthia, that is. Okay. Well, who knows if that actually happened? The fight gets so bad that security is called and Portia has to hold Nene back. I'm like, wait a minute now. Portia jumping in for Nene. I thought that was Marlo's job. <laughs> okay, moving on back to the article. It says, ultimately, it seems fans will see Nene and Cynthia at least attempt to work through their issues with the trailer sharing a glimpse at a tearful conversation between the two and Nene proclaiming, we need to end this. Ah, uh, sidebar, flag on play. No, you don't. You need to keep it spiced up. That's what we came here for. We don't care if y'all are besties. <laughs> We want to see y'all get it and dragging it and, and, and fussing, cussing, carrying on. Because that's what we came here for. We didn't come for no kumbaya moment. All right. But I saw that little clip they're referring to. And it seems like the same old, same old when Nene wants to throw the white flag up because she's just tired for the moment. But that flag will be back in full of force. She'll take that olive branch back and she'll be back putting uh, dirt and salt on Cynthia's name for people to try to turn on her. Okay, but going back to the article, it says season 12 also promised to be a dramatic, uh, well, promised to be dramatic for the women's relationships. As viewers will see, Nene confront her husband, Greg, about creeping around Atlanta and discuss the possibility of an open marriage. I'm like, what? What, what to say? What to say? What to say now, Nene? You trying to get down with some younger men? <laughs> you trying to get down with some younger men, okay? You ain't worried about Greg taking around time because you know he a little ticking time bomb. You give him too much too fast. Whoops, there it is. You're going to be six feet under. All right, so don't, don't, don't try putting that storyline on Greg and his chief way girl nene we know at least i know you want to be out there creeping and you want to have a pass given to you you want to have a pass at least once a month to for greg to look the other way while you go cheat i know it girl you trying to be a swinger you trying to have an open marriage girl <laughs> greg ain't laying down that pipe like he used to girl okay enough of that getting back to the article it says, meanwhile, Candy and her husband, Todd Tucker, seem to get into it over business dealings. Okay, what, what, what in the world is Todd doing? Is uh, Candy Birds having to take the whip out and, and, and strike him a couple of times? Make him come to reality? You on my choo-choo train. All right, and this is an express bus because, you know, I have to conserve. Don't let me take that uh, Rolls Royce you call yourself buying me, but it really was my funds. All right, back. All right, okay. And I know y'all don't like me saying, okay, okay, but that's just how I get down, deal with it, or get off the channel, okay? Well, all right. Uh, then it says, uh, it seems to get into it over business dealings. 
her and Todd, and then we switched to Portia, while Portia and her fiancé, Dennis McKinley, enters couples therapy to work through issues which Portia described as not forgivable. The pair has appeared to be on and off since last season ended. Personally, I think it was a storyline. Uh, I think uh, Portia used Dennis to get what she wants, which was a baby, and a possibility at a dangling of a wedding proposal. Personally, I don't think uh, Kenya really, not Kenya, um, Portia really wants to be married. She's not as hyped as Cynthia, okay, for that marriage to happen. But, because she's doing well in the financial department, and it seems like, oh, it might be a Peter and Cynthia thing with um, Portia and Dennis. Yeah, he's spending her money while she's going into the red. So, I think Portia done caught game, but we'll see. We'll see how things explode, explode, and wrap itself up for the big TKO for that relationship. We will see. All right, but moving on, a newly engaged Cynthia appears to butt heads with her fiancé, Mike Hill, over her close relationships with her exes, okay, while well, Kenya marriage falls apart. Now, we already done played that in the media. We done played that on my channel, and we will continue as it being relevant out in the social media streets. It will stay relevant and current on my YouTube streets, okay? But, yeah, okay, now I see what we're saying now. Like, look at him, look at him now. Cynthia trying to be in the game. She catch a game. She's going to pump her brakes on her nuptials. I think she best. <laughs> okay? Because for one thing, Mike ain't still in these relationships she's having with her ex, uh, lover, friend. I'm, I'm referencing Leon. And probably uh, she's still in contact with Peter. Peter Parker either had a wife and couldn't keep him. Meaning and Cynthia and his other exes. Okay? I'm not really understanding this situation. How in the world is Mike Hill trying to set standards <laughs> for Cynthia? We just seeing her blossom and doing well. We want Cynthia to continue to have a backbone. Don't walk out, Cynthia. Stand your ground. Like they're saying, stand your ground when it comes to uh, choosing a weapon of your choice, defending yourself against an intruder. Cynthia, stand your ground, baby girl. Stand your ground. Stand in it. Make it known that you are woman, you are roaring right now. Play it for what it's worth, Cynthia. I'm proud of you, girl. But don't be running out, okay? That's like a punk move, unless you was going to uh, assault him in some way. <laughs> and yes, retreat. Go to your corner, okay? We don't want to see you filming outside of your cell block in the conference room where visitors come to see you, or if even if they allowed it, which I don't think so. But we don't we we know you can't handle that kind of pressure. So yes, it's best for Cynthia to have walked away. All right. Then we go to um Kenya's now strange husband, Mark Daly, famously did not film on her last season of the show. You remember season 10? Okay, do a recap if you need to. Uh, but now the relationship drama is front and center uh, with talk of depression and prenups. <laughs> I'm like, what? The, what? Okay, not understanding that, but I'm sure if we keep going on, it will be revealed to us. Okay, going back to the article, it said, of course, there will also be fun this year as the women embark on a number of trips, including to the Caribbean. Carnival in Canada, you know, they was in Toronto filming when they first started back with uh, season 12 and putting all their work in um, and all of the cast trips to Greece. Now, for the ones who were in my comment section saying, no, Del Chanel, they're not in Greece. They're not in Italy. Yeah, they are. I'm giving you more commentary. Pay attention to my videos. OK, everything that I do speak is not necessarily false. All right. Like I said, I'm giving y'all the entertainment that's out there in them uh, books and magazines that y'all want to pick up and buy. Same story that I'm putting out on my channel. And I don't even charge you for it. I don't think I asked is for a little subscription, meaning sign, um, subscribe to my channel, like and share my videos. And if not, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Like, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to my videos. Okay. No charge to have it. No charge to have your own personal email account. Well, not email account, but a YouTube account. Because you don't have to be a YouTuber, you don't have to be a content creator, but go on, make an account. And subscribe to my channel and watch me get down on these streets. Okay, we're giving you the fresh, updated news on celebrities and entertainment. Okay, but getting back to this article, we say uh, all cash trip. They went to Greece 
and had major life milestones, like Eva going through her third pregnancy, Portia embracing motherhood full force, and of course, sent the engagement to Mike. Oh, and also more fighting. <laughs> yes, that's what we need. More argumental observation and interpretation. Yes, that's what we need from uh, the people on my uh, platform. Yes, don't always dog me. Don't always talk about what I ain't got coming. You know, somebody even said you need speech languages. No, because I'm not trying to be a journalist. I'm not trying to give you uh, the news far as where you can interpret it. We all speak different kind of slangs. All right, get with it. Get into it where you fit in, okay? All right. Um, but anyway, uh, it says... Uh, Okay, promising more fighting. Yeah, seems safe to say that Kenya and Eva don't get along. So they can't tan each other up too verbally. Yes, they are. And remember, uh, the premiere of the first show, uh, first episode of The Real Housewives of Atlanta will be airing on November 3rd at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, time Zone on Bravo. So we want to always support Bravo and this mindless drama that we seem to love because it takes us away from our uh, dull and mundane times. Just like I'm sure the celebrities on reality shows, they go when they having downtime and they peep our little shows of what we have. Okay, what they call the not true shows. But yet, the bigger bloggers that's making millions, such as their parent company, uh, True Entertainment, they, they, they got all the news, right? Okay, how we know y'all ain't faking all these storylines and y'all really don't get down like this in real life. Okay, but you got to show us this mess. So aren't you doing us a disservice of not speaking your truth? Okay. So I guess we can do it. We can play it back for you all. All right. But that's all I have for this video. It's just an introduction to season 12. I wanted to give y'all the highlights since, you know, I got an old computer. I can't give y'all those wonderful clips. So I can give y'all the port of reference where you can go find them clips. Like go straight on over to Bravo. Cause who does their entertainment news better than them on their own show? Okay. All right. So y'all enjoy the video. Get down in them comments. Let me know how much y'all hate me, how much y'all love me, uh, how indifferent you are with me. Go on and get into it. All right. But also get in, get into some uh, interactions with the people that are already there. Y'all form your own opinions. Y'all tell me what y'all think going to happen. Because I think it's just going to be spicy for about four or five episodes. Then it's going to get boring. But as long as we got twirl back, whether she... Got paid five hundred thousand or five dollars or five million don't make any difference, okay? She twirling up a storm and she's coming blowing down everybody's chimney house, okay? Everybody house, apartment, condo, she tearing them all up, okay? Because she's trying to say she's back. <laughs> she is back, full effect, lock loaded and ready to spray everyone that gets in her way. All right, but that's all I had. Get in them comments. Take my polls each uh, day that I put out a poll. You know, I'm just giving y'all something to definitely um, think about. And y'all give me y'all opinions on certain things. All right. That means you have to go to my community feedback um, section on YouTube. Y'all will see the daily polls. Or if you're already notified or have notifications uh, linked into my videos, you'll know when I drop a video. And that poll will also display as well. So get into that. Um, that's when new thing was coming. I figured out how to do it. And I thought I'd play it out for you all, but definitely continue to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to me, like my videos, and I will see you on the next, um, get to the point day of Chanel's 48 world. All right. Good night. Bye-bye.